Hello! This video goes out to USA Hellfighter who is interested in seeing how they process for essentially tweaking a weapon to work with the Caliber X assets. It's done in F and V edit as opposed to in the GAC. In my opinion, it's a lot thick, quicker, and faster, but the potential for typos is a lot easier because the GAC only allows you to choose things from a menu, whereas in F and V edit, you, you type it in by hand. What I've got open here is the Maria entry, and of course the edit program won't allow you to edit a stock vanilla asset, so we're going to add it to a new file. We're just copying it as an override. We'll call it Maria Mod. And yeah, it's going to want to add Fallout NV ESM as a master, which is good. That's fine. And it always tickles me that the, the vanilla casing model itself is a 45 cal casing, even though within the vanilla game without the DLC there is no 45 weapon. They kind of make it obvious they are just messing around there. Anyway, the way Caliber X is set up is it, it actually puts the assets in place anyway as loose files. And F and V Edit and any other program is going to assume, uh, rightly so, that everything is going to be in data meshes and then from there you go to projectiles which is how the game works it's not an absolute path it's 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 assumed so we're going to go here and you can if you've got nif scope ins installed like i do cuz i'm i'm mod models you can just you know double click and verify the model but if not and you have the gec installed instead you can just open it with the gec and it's going to take a while, but it will load up just the model without having to load any mods themselves or whatever, and it'll just uh, show you the model. When it loads. Yeah, there we go. Pardon me. Turn off the ground plane so it won't get ridiculous when we zoom out. And sure enough, there's your Caliber X, courtesy of Odin ML, shell casing for the 9x19. And you can do the same thing for the projectiles, the auto projectile. Looks like that's got the muzzle flash in it right there. And the actual projectile projectile is going to be the bullet. Yep, there's your bullet. Anyway, the casing model is 9x19 mm casing, NIF. And here's where the potential for an error comes in that the GEC doesn't introduce. But if you, you, you trust yourself, you know, 9x19 mm casing dot nf, sure enough. Another way to do it, you could go in and technically rename the file, hit control C for copy, go back to F and V edit. And if I accidentally, you know, blank that spot out, and then hit control V, well, there you go. And you can just copy and paste from, from Windows itself. That's the casing, the projectile, is going to be here. And this one, for this one, we're going to actually need to do one more step. To Maria mod, we're going to need to add the master caliber because the projectile entry itself belong, is, is part of that mod. Now we'll go look at the Maria mod. Okay, great. Projectile, and here you can actually hit F2 or click twice but slowly not a double click and then use the drop down menu and sure enough let's see 9 by 9 silent projectile 9 by 19 auto bullet that's what we actually want there and we're good 9 by 19 auto or 9 millimeter auto bullet projectile no that must have been the vanilla we want 9 by 19 millimeter projectile oh I see that's the actual model. We don't want the model. The entry is going to call for the model, I'm going to guess. Nine millimeter bullet. There we go. Nine by nineteen millimeter projectile dot nif. Anyway, yeah, there you go. That's just verifying we're using that same model. So now Maria actually would actually call for the right shell casing. 
and the correct, pro correct projectile when you fire the weapon. And that's pretty much it. It's 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 a lot faster in my opinion when 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 you've done it a lot and you're practiced with it. It's very simple. If you wanted to, for example, change Maria to 40 cal, you know, okay, we've got Caliber X as a model or as a master now, so you can just pull out the model or ammo lists and say change it to 40 Smith and Wesson. Find the model for that 40 40 SW casing NIF. Not a problem. And I'm going to guess that there is a 40 cal projectile as well. That's probably going to be named similarly. What do you know? 40 Smith & Wesson silent projectile? Or an auto rifle or automatic projectile? There you go. And, and this is one place where the way they did things in Fallout 3 actually made more sense because you can't change a projectile within a weapon. So if you add attach a suppressor mod to the weapon, it's not going to change the projectile. You would actually want to create at a workbench a separate model of the weapon to have a different projectile for the suppressed bullet. But anyway, there you go. That's changed the ammo list, the casing, and the projectile. And if you wanted to, you could, you know, since you're here, you could say, well, you know, 40 Smith & Wesson does a little more damage than a uh, uh, a 9mm, so you could change that to, you know, say 23 or something. And the mag size is going to be a little bit different, not clip. Clip is the actual wrong word for that. Clip is part of uh, an internal mechanism. A magazine is what you want. It's a detachable magazine. We'll, we'll say it's an 11 round mag. And there you go. If you wanted to further tweak your weapon, this is where you would do it. Um, if you want to change range or your critical multiplier or whatever, that's where you would do it. And it's that simple. And of course you would go on exit and then you would say, yes, I want to save that, blah, blah, blah. And it's it's pretty easy. And you, at no point do you actually have to load the mod up in the GAC. And especially as part of a larger mod, if it's got all kinds of entries like world spaces and NPCs and other characters and all you want to do is just tweak a weapon, well, there you go. The tool is a lot more specialized and convenient for that task. Uh, enjoy, and I hope that answers a lot of questions and makes things easier for folks who, who have trouble reading it as text and need a more hands-on on guidance. There you go.